afternoon, everybody. Again, okay? Yeah. So how y'all doing this afternoon? Happy Saturday, y'all. And I hope y'all Saturday is going well. Because mine's is going excellent, okay? Alright, y'all. So I just wanted to come on here real quick. Um, honey, mmm, mmm, mmm. Ghetto and ratchet. Mmm. Anywho. Alright, y'all. So yeah, let me do a little touch up on my lips because I'm going to be stepping out for a moment, okay? But I wanted to come on here real quick and I wanted to show y'all the new color that I was going to be wearing um, when I get my nails done again. Now, y'all know I got Epic um, the last time I got my nails done. And um, very pretty blue color. But, um, matter of fact, I need to put some cuticle oil on because it's getting a little dry looking right there. But um, I think I just need to do a, like a little touch up on my lips. And like I was telling y'all earlier, um, my lippy for the day was um, mango butter and berry. This is this really dark uh, purple. Let me just show y'all how I did it. I put a very little bit on. Because as you can see, it's very dark. <laughs> Yeah, and it can get darker if I put on more. Let me just show y'all how dark it really is, okay? Hopefully, it won't interfere with my other colors. But when I did it earlier, I didn't do it this dark. Um, I put a nice, thin layer on earlier. And then I had took... Take this with me because I like to freshen up my lips when I'm out. Can you all see mama? Hope so. Yeah. All right. Um. So, yeah. That's the dark coat of the mango berry. Um, then I had took my fuchsia looking color, which I don't have the name of it, but I did get it from the Dollar Tree. It's actually getting empty, y'all. I'm going to be able to make a trip to get some more uh, lippy soon because I'm actually... This is... I'm digging... And as you can see, you can see the walls of this. Like, this is just done. So, and as far as, um, I'm going to be going to Bath and Body Works soon. Sorry, y'all. Because I am hitting the bottom of the plastic on my, uh, lemon pomegranate cream lotion. Honey, I love this stuff. But as y'all can see, Mama is hitting the bottom. Okay? Yeah. So, Wait a minute, excuse me, y'all. I'll fix some things around here. All right. So, um, yeah, so what I did was, like I said, it was a thinner layer. It was nowhere near this dark. So let's just see how it works, even though I made it dark. See, I'm not hardly getting anything out of that. See how that... The fuchsia is showing up. This is a beautiful color. Um, I need to try to find it again at the Dollar Tree. Yep, y'all. I am actually... This is it. And I'm using so much this time because I made that mango butter or mango berry uh, darker than usual. Um, like I said, I had that very thin coat on earlier, so it didn't take much for me to put that on there. And then I took my Fashion Diva, which, look, I mean, you can see, I, I think you can really see how empty that is. This is another one I got from the Dollar Tree that I love. I love the packaging and all. See, I'm not hardly getting any out of there. But anywho, for those of you who know me, I love a shiny lip, so... Yes, the more shine, the better. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm done. Look, look like weasel. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Now, as far as my nail color that I'm going to pick the next time I go get my nails done. Now I'm getting ready to put on some cuticle oil. This is cuticle oil, okay? And I've talked about this before, but if it's anybody new on my channel, um... That's what I'm doing. This is cuticle oil. Because like I said, when you lotion your hands, it don't quite do the job 
for your cuticles. So I like to, um, you know, do a little extra. But the color for, and what I do is I rub it in. So the color that I'm picking for this week, it actually does not have a name on it, and I don't know why, okay? Um, it's this little Sally Girl uh, nail uh, polishes that I bought a couple years ago from, uh, Sal uh, from Sally's. And this is the color, okay? Hopefully y'all can see that, okay? It's a beautiful, I don't know what color to call it, okay? But I tried to do a little swatch for you all so you could see it because I didn't want to put it over top of my nails. But let me just, because it dried, so let me see. See? And I'm going to do a little swatch right here so y'all can see. But this is the color that I'm going to be using the next time I get my nails done. I apologize that I can't give you all a name. Um, I even peeled this little piece off because usually the name is right here in the corner, okay? On my other ones, the name is right there. On this particular one, it's not a name, it's a number. So let me just give you the number, and it's by Sally Girl. Uh, B, let's see, so teeny. Um, number 812045, okay? And I'm thinking, it says peel this off for ingredients. And I said, well, let me peel it off and see if maybe it has a color on it. Okay. See how little the words is and stuff. So, yeah, that's the number on it. And it's called, you know, this is a Sally Girls Polish from Sally's. So, I don't know. That's the number. And that's what it looks like. And this is what it looks like on paper the swatch of it okay very beautiful color i have no clue what that is it almost looks like a burnt orange maybe but i'm not sure okay so i apologize for that so let me do my cuticle oil on this hand and let me hurry up because my husband is waiting for me yet again <laughs> honey yeah y'all so valentine's day is coming up y'all so what are you all plans for valentine's day I'm sure you all have some plans. <laughs> um, so, um, th real quick, okay, now, I wanted to try to do, like, uh, make up a tag, because for those of you who are new and don't know, um, I try to create tags. I've created a few so far here on YouTube, um, and my goal was to, you know, maybe once a month try to create my own tag. So I was going to try to come up with a tag for Valentine's Day, you know, geared in Kate, uh, geared towards Valentine's Day, love and all that kind of stuff. I was going to try to think of a tag. I haven't actually sat down and, and um, you know, thought of it yet, but I will. But um, just a little quick something here that relates to love and Valentine's Day and stuff like that. Um, and it's called Love Is, Okay. So I'm going to read this to you really quick, and then I have to go because I heard my husband jingling keys. That means he can come back here and be like, are you done yet? Here I come. You stopped your lying. I'm not lying. You're See? Not I am. I'm just going to read this real quick for the people. Right, we'll people. Hey, people. Ghetto and ratchet. He said, hey, y'all. Do you want to say anything else so, before I read this? Oh, <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh, mm, mm, mm. hot mess. Oh, that's ridiculous. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, y'all. So for any new subscribers, hi, y'all. But you have just tuned into the Ghetto Ratchet Show on YouTube, okay? Um, <laughs> BKA Channel 100, aka 100, okay? And I got a husband, and he over there acting a donkey. Get in front of the camera and do it. Oh, he's stupid. They can't see nothing right there. Really? You want that on camera? No, you the one got the camera. No, you got to come over here if you want to do all that. No, you turn it this way. If you want I'm not turning this way. If you ain't going to believe me. Anyway, the, right, because honey. Mm. Anywho, sorry, y'all. Goodbye. I'm doing a video. I'll be out there in a minute. How's it look? No, bye. Goodbye. No, no, bye. No, goodbye. Bye. I'm trying to do a video. Awful. Well, that's a lie. <laughs> Goodbye. Seriously, boo, let me do this real quick. Y'all, I am so sorry. Ghetto Ratchet. I wish y'all could have seen that performance. 
acting a donkey on camera. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, love is. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. Love does not demand its own way. Love is not irritable. And it keeps no records of when it has been wrong. It is never glad about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith, and is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. Okay, so that's just like a little um, meaning of what love is. Because, you know, Valentine's Day is coming, and I know y'all might have a little sweetheart or whatever, a husband, a fiance, you know, a special a dude or whoever. Yeah, so that's, that's, yeah, that's a nice little, um, uh, story about love, okay? So, yeah, anywho, y'all, all right, bam. <laughs> hey, she be shaking y'all on that. All right, y'all, so, yeah, let me go. Um, he is ratchet, y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all, a donkey, okay? He acted a donkey, and I am so sorry y'all couldn't see that ratchetness, but maybe it's a good thing you didn't, okay? Horny, mm, 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 Ugh. Mm, 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 chill. All right, y'all. So, yeah, let me let me get up off here. I'm going to get ready to, um, oh, let me show y'all this real quick. Earlier when I did my video, I had showed y'all, I had did a video in the car earlier today. Yeah, I did quite a few videos today. I've already uploaded two. One of them is um called Where Have You Been Missed? That was my first video of today. And then I did another video, um, which hasn't even uploaded yet. So, yeah, just stay tuned to your channel feed. And if you don't, you know know about your channel feed um it's a list of videos like when you subscribe to people you know they'll give you a list of, of people that you subscribe to they'll show you every time they do a video it'll pop up in what's called your channel feed okay so um if you hit subscribe right below the video um you don't have to worry about trying to find any of my upcoming videos they'll come straight to your email inbox right in your channel feed okay so yeah um but earlier i had showed y'all these little snack things, okay, by Bumblebee. And um, the one I showed you earlier was tuna salad. And this is called salmon salad. So I don't know if any of you all like salmon. But honey, delicious, okay? And it's not a whole lot of calories. If you want some kind of a diet and you're trying to watch your calorie intake or whatever have you, um, not a whole lot of calories, even though it has little crackers in it. Yeah. Um, Actually, this has less calories. The salmon salad has less calories than the tuna salad one had. But, um, and I'm not counting calories or anything like that. Um, basically, actually, I'm going to tell you all about what I'm doing. I'll tell you all on another video, okay? But I'm not on no weight loss journey or anything like that. Do I want to lose weight? Yes. But I'm not on no kind of a um, diet, okay? Um, I, I don't like diets. Um... I, I don't like to restrict myself and you can't eat this and you can't eat that. I don't I don't like all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to come back on, on another video and um, talk to y'all about my little journey. Um, and, and it's not, um, it, it's far different from what most people do. I, I mean, I just keep it real, keep it 100, okay? Because I like to eat, okay? I'm a foodie person, okay? If it comes down to sweets and food, give me food. I love food. But, um... Yeah, but I'll go into all of that later because I, I just tend to believe, let me just put this out here real quick. I just tend to believe that it's not what you eat, it's how much you eat. And I know that from past experience because I've lost weight before um, without even trying, actually. And um, it was just all about how much food I was eating and not necessarily what I eat. So, yeah, I, I can't be strict like that. I, I mean, I just set myself up for failure when I try to say, okay, I'm not going to eat this, that, and the other, and I'm going to just stick to, you know, rabbit food and all that. No, honey, uh-uh, mama, no, mm -mm, no. And I'm not trying to get so skinny. You know, I, I'm not into the, you know, losing weight to the point that I look like I'm sick. Okay, I don't like the, the weight loss that, that people see who haven't seen you in a while. And they'll see like, oh, is she sick? She got cancer or something? Child, she must got AIDS. Girl, she must be smoking crack. Mm. Oh, okay. Anywho, yeah. So, yeah, I don't like that kind of weight loss. Ain't no crack going on here. Ain't no, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know, I'm not sick. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't like that kind of weight loss. I just like 
weight loss, you know, that's a healthy weight where, you know, it's not hard on my knees and it looks good. You understand what I'm saying? If it was up to me, I would just lose my middle, like my stomach part. And I would keep everything else. But you know, when you're losing weight, you just can't lose in one spot. And that's fine. But like I said, I'm not trying to lose to the point that I look like I'm sick. Okay? Yeah. Because mama love her weight. Okay? I don't like the middle. Okay? I don't like all that extra roll on the stomach part. But everything, honey... Everything else, honey, I lose, okay? Yeah, honey, don't even get it twisted, okay? This big mom over here, and I love it, okay? But I don't like that middle part. I don't like all that that that, that fat around the, the middle, okay? So, yeah, so it's for me, it's not about what I eat. It's how much I eat. So I'm on a portion control journey, not a, you know, diet or whatever have you, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I'll talk about more of that later, but that's just my take on it, okay? I don't I do not do the, um, you can't have a donut, you can't have, you know, a piece of chicken or, no, mm-mm, because I'm going to eat, okay? It's just that I'm just cutting back on my portion sizes, okay? So, yeah, I'll talk about that later in another video, but I got to go. But, anywho, yeah, this is just a nice little something you can eat when you're on the go. When you're in the car, you out or whatever, instead of making choices like McDonald's and stuff like that, um... You can just grab something just to, so you don't be hungry as hell <laughs> when you out. But, um, yeah. So, anywho, um, I'm getting ready to go. And um, I will see y'all on the next video, okay? Only if it's the Lord's will, honey. And don't forget to hit subscribe now because you don't want to miss mama. Honey, we got a ratchet over on this piece, okay? Honey, mm, mm, mm. Mm. All right, y'all. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to tell y'all. Mm.